Steven and Michael back here for another Tech Talk Thursday. Uh, that's my first time doing the intro. Look at that. Wasn't that good energy? Good. You put you put your name first though. It's common kind of courtesy to put the other name first, other person's name first. You know what? This is why I don't try. <laughs> What are we talking about today, Stephen? Uh, well, we're going to talk about one of the topics you wanted to bring up. Mm. Who are the hackers? You know, hackers, everybody thinks of a hacker, at least I do anyway, and it's probably stereotypical, but you don't really see their face. They're usually wearing a hoodie with the hood pulled up, right, and they got some IT mumbo-jumbo behind them, like, you know, uh, numbers and whatnot. But, so I did my research. And neckbeards. <coughs> Sorry. Continue. And neckbeards, yes. So I did my research and everything, I started reading about it, and in my opinion, hackers are just people who are born really extra curious. So it's almost like an addiction. When they see something, like they know they shouldn't break into a government file, but they're so curious that it just it overtakes their entire mind and, and body, and they have to do it, even though they know that there's consequences. So it's kind of like being addicted to sugar and, and, and I guess other drugs or whatnot. Uh, they just have to satisfy the craving. I also do not think that you can look at a group of people and pick out the hacker. So years ago, there was this movie called Swordfish with Holly Berry, Hugh Jackman, John Travolta. Really good movie. You were probably about I don't know seven. who those people are. You were about <laughs> seven, seven when it, when it came out. Um, was it in color? It was, it was in color. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it really portrayed Hugh Jackman as a hacker, but he was just a normal person. and. He was just gifted at what, at, at, you know, the ability to hack things and, and, and no computers. So that's why I think hackers are. Who do you think hackers are? Okay, so there's, there's two types of hackers. Uh, there's white hat hackers and the black hat hackers. The white hat hackers are actually, you know, contracted employees that their literal mission is to compromise and do penetration testing and to find the vulnerabilities in, um, in system security software. Uh, and hardware, whatever, whatever they can do. The difference between a white hat and a black hat is a white hat has explicit permission to try and compromise or break into this software. Legal permission? Legal permission. That's what separates you from a white hat and a black hat. So some for... Um, there so you're are, saying there's legal hacking? There is legal hacking, yes. You are contracted, you are authorized to disrupt, to break. You, you have explicit permission. So... So really only the government could... No, there's, there's plenty of companies that exist that are solely penetration testers. And that's their whole thing. People will hire for assessments and, and that is their entire bread and butter. But they have to have permission first. You, so for example, you could get into trouble saying like you go up to Microsoft and say, hey Microsoft, I found a, I found a bug or so and so or whatever um, that does this, this and this. You could technically get into some legal trouble because you were not explicitly allowed. Uh, say if you go into someone's network and take something and show, look, I was able to take this by exploiting this, you could still get in some legal trouble. So Even if you're there to just report it to them, right. you, you need to check first. So I'm trying to think of anybody besides the government, though, that could actually contract you to, be, to legally hack something. Do you, you think of anything? Like, could your, your place of work contract you legally to hack something? As long as it's within the company, the 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 external there you company, go. There you go. the external company, the company that's going to get messed with, uh, is the one that needs to give the permission. There it is. Um, that that's the key point. Nice. Uh, also, uh, with the who are the hackers, um, it what they're seeing is a rise in actual nation state attackers. Mm -hmm. um, and what, what they're ha seeing is when, for example, the recent uh, situation in Iran, um, the government had released uh, reports and even insurance agencies sent out to their clients saying, hey, by the way, given what recently happened, we've sent out a report uh, where we expect to see a rise in uh, malicious attempts against companies, corporations, uh, or just the personal person. Here are the typical types of attacks they use. So. Um, what they're seeing is Iran, North Korea, Russia, China, they're seeing an intense rise in mm -hmm. cyber warfare, as they're, they're wanting to call it. And um, that's what uh, is begun, 
beginning to become so prominent now is that's well, the newest plane of war. Right, they're saying exactly, yeah, all future wars are going to be fought on the cyber front. So, so they say. Yeah. All and right. Then, well, one what about one black hats. Well, so black hat is just illegally. Black hat is illegally. So black hat would be those nation state attacks. Obviously, the US is not saying come get us. <laughs> right, right. Um, but uh, on a on a nicer note, uh, so cybersecurity conference uh, that I went to in, uh, in Chicago, uh, there was an actual decent story of like, you know, there was a ransomware situation. And um, this guy was contracted out because it was this old woman who just wanted her pictures of her kids. Uh, and she had received an email saying, hey, send me so and so cryptocurrency in Bitcoin uh, and uh, I'll, I'll give you the key to release it. The guy reached out to the email back saying, hey, this is just an old woman who just wants pictures of her grandkids and things like that. Can you, can you help us out? Like, this isn't a company or whatever. And the person actually came back and said, yeah, sure, okay, here's the key. And wow. actually got the things back. So some of them have a code of ethics, I guess. Don't bank on it, though. That's Don't bank part. on it. It's yeah. just a nice story of like, you know, some of them have decency, but in other words, most of them are trying to just exploit for money Right. Or a little bit of honor among thieves. A little bit, but they're still yeah. thieves. <laughs> Correct. Anything else you got there, sir? No. Um, all right. Yeah, that's all I got in my notes. So, oh, I should probably end it too. Yes, you should. Do you want to criticize me for that? No, too? not at all. Not no, at all. that's it. That's it. Cut it. <laughs>